Okay, so now we come to the personal submission from Helen Broughton. Helen, welcome back to the chamber. Welcome to the table. Thank you very much. So you've okay. got three. You've got three minutes to present to us this morning. Yes, thank you. Or oh, this afternoon, actually, is it now? Thank you. Just try and make sure I've got this computer right. Code. Sorry about this. We good to go? Just one one one. emergency. Yeah. Right. That's the wrong way around. Anyway. Uh, yes, look, um, thanks for the opportunity. And I'm aware I've only got three minutes. My, the thing I'm coming to talk to you about is water charges. Um, I'm not out of a, a, alignment with the board on this, so it's, it's a board view as well, but I feel very strongly about it. I don't believe you should be charging residential properties. I think we've got the old system, if you like, and I've been on council from 2001 to 2013, and every three years, we got a proposal for water charging. And every three years, we actually said no. And I think that continued in the last two years of council, or two terms of council. There was a no to, in fact, water charging. So there's been a change this term. Um, and you seem to have agreed to actually do some form of water charging. The reason that we kicked out water charging in the past was that, um, and I'll just try and get, so sorry, my skill, skills at, at computers aren't wonderful. Um, just a minute. Sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll just have to ad lib. Um, in Christchurch, we're allowed to take out 73 cubic litres of water in fact, we take out 55. The rest of the Canterbury Plains takes out 6,116 cubic litres of water. So when you look at Christchurch, we're taking a very small part out. Um, and we're not even going up to our current <laughs> allocated level. So looking at that and all the water that's happening on the plains, I don't think it's fair that... Christchurch people are going to have to pay charges for water. Um, the second reason, I believe, is that you're going to have difficulties with water meters. There's a lot of um, unit housing, particularly in Rickerton, but other areas as well, built in the 70s and 80s that hasn't got water charging meters. And you need to do a very careful calculation on what that water charging will actually, what the cost of replacing water meters will be or putting them in. And I think, thirdly, I think this is the thin edge of the wedge. Once you start this, then the next year you'll, you'll do something else. And eventually, in three years, we'll have water charging for all households. Once you start it once, it becomes hard to reel back. Um, so I'm asking you, please don't do charging for residential households. That's great, thank you. And, and that I'm very neatly time, yes. brings us to the end of the um, three minutes. Your, your views are very clearly expressed and thank you very much for coming along and um, telling us do. that. Thank you. thank you. And I'll send through that um, information to in fact Samantha who will put it on. We'll make on sure Samantha. that gets distributed. Yep. Thank you. Helen, thanks very much indeed. Thank you. All right.